a celebration of music, played on the world's most popular instrument, the accordion. The performers are paying tribute to their teacher and mentor, Ilmar Kuljus. Ilmar was born in 1930 into a musical family in the European country of Estonia. My dad was a, an amateur musician. My mother was a, had a beautiful voice. She sang in a choir. And I've been around music all my life. I never thought that it would be my vocation, but things work out differently than you plan. Uh, this is my original accordion that my dad bought for me when I was six years old. This is a, a full-sized instrument and I was just a little tyke at that time. So for me to be able to play it, I had to set it on the Davenport here and then stand behind it and put the straps on and then start playing it with the weight of the instrument resting on the uh, Davenport. In 1940, when Ilmar was just 10 years old, war broke out and his homeland was occupied first by Russia and then by Germany. His family had to evacuate. When I left uh, home, uh, I, I could only take along what I could carry in, in my, uh, my whole family. As a fact, we came together. We each had two suitcases, and one of mine was the accordion, which was my companion throughout the war. I, when we had to sometimes sleep outside in the winter, uh, that was with me. And it got me through all the hard times in my life, and um, helped me at least have something to fall back on when I came over here. Ilmar and his family fled from their home in Estonia to war-torn Germany. The only place to go. We had to choose between the two evils then, uh, communism and Nazism. We were safer under Nazis than communists at that time. So we had to leave everything, walk away from home. Uh, ensuing four years after the war ended, we were living in refugee camps in, in Germany, in different areas. I was able to go through high school there, subsequently immigrated to the United States. Uh, it was the greatest feeling that you can imagine. Finally, finally, we're here. Ilmar lived on a farm in Minnesota for his first half year in the U.S. Then he came to Washington State, hoping to continue his education. I had envisions of uh, studying architecture. Uh, that was my uh, original plan, but that did not materialize because I, I needed money to make a living, first of all, and I, I felt like I could do something with music much faster. Ilmar landed a job teaching accordion and did quite well. In 1952, he started his own school, Accordia Nova. The accordion business was booming at that time. American soldiers had heard the accordion while serving in Europe and were now returning home wanting lessons for themselves and their families. Suddenly, a new instrument emerged and the Beatles uh, made their appearance here and Elvis and everybody was enthralled with guitar. And our enrollments, of course, started to dwindle down to considerably. And I could see that perhaps I should do something besides what I'm doing now. About that time, public schools were beginning to include more foreign languages into their curriculum. A Spokane school official suggested that Ilmar become a language teacher. So I, I did what he suggested, and uh, I uh, went to Eastern, and I, I, got my, I got two degrees, one in music, one, one in uh, languages, in German mainly. Ilmar taught in Spokane Public Schools for 22 years while continuing to teach accordion. He sold his Accordion Nova school in 2004. Ilmar is now enjoying a very active retirement. He creates musical arrangements for accordion, travels to musical events and contests, and still has a few students. He even gives lessons by Skype. All right, now. All right, way to end it. That's good. Through his activities, Ilmar Kuljus continues to engage in his two major passions, music and teaching. I particularly enjoy teaching those who are sometimes considered unteachable. I've had students who have 
had fingers missing, which makes, a, makes it very challenging. And yet, when there is a will to learn, I just take immense pleasure in, in uh, seeing, getting the results. My own playing has been always secondary to me. I take my pride in, in my students, always. Uh, If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.